say we should fast and die. You are here eating. Very good. My daughter, it's not what you think. Will you keep quiet? Don't judge a book by the cover. Please have your seat. I will explain things better to you. Please have your seat. You still have the mind to call me your daughter after you have bewitched me with your fake daughter. Ha! Thank God. I didn't fall into your trap. Your evil plan has failed woefully. I will not sit down here and watch you brainwash me again. Never. How dare you bang it to my office just like that? Didn't they teach you cops in school? Eh? Without even knocking. You just enter as if you are in your father's house. I can't believe this. You placed the whole congregation on fasting and prayer and excluded yourself. Let me do you with that. What have come over you? Are you talking to me like that? Why are you being so rude? Hey, it was the Holy Spirit that gave the mandate that the congregation should fast first before the leaders of the church. That is why I'm eating. I want to hear hey? this. Besides, whether the congregation fast first or the leader fast first, it doesn't make any difference. We are all doomed to die anyway. The blood of Jesus, I delete my name from that your evil list of the book of death. My name refused to be dead. The book of Psalm 118 verse 17 says, I shall not die, but live to declare the word of God. Quiet there and drop the Bible. I remember I warned you before never to read the Bible. The Bible is not meant for you. Exodus 31 verse 18 says, Moses was given the Ten Commandments to read and explain to the people. I am your Moses. I am supposed to read it and explain to you. Drop it. I don't talk about it again. Child. You are still dwelling on the Old Testament. <laughs> Mommy, you have to wake up. We are now in the New Testament. The New Testament, the regime of Jesus Christ. The book of John 1 verse 12 says, As many that believe on his name, as many that have received him, to them he has given the power to become the sons of God. As long as I believe on that name, I am the daughter of the Most High God, I am the daughter of Zion. So I have the right to read the Bible because the Bible is the manual of the Christian. By the way, are you not supposed to be fasting? What are you doing here? I break the fasting because the book of Matthew 24, verse 36 says, for the hour the Son of Man is going to come, no one knows about the day, not even angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father, meaning your prophecy is useless. It's not in the Bible. So I decided to break the fasting. Every word that comes after the Lord, we know it ought to be void until it has accomplished the purpose in which that word was sent. Matthew 24 verse 11 says, Many false prophets shall arise, and they shall deceive many. Calling me a prophet of doom? For your information, all you told me earlier about fasting to die, they are all on tape. And I have followed them to the police. They will be here any moment from now to take you away. You think they are wise? It hasn't got into that, my daughter. I'm done. Have a nice day. Please come back. Is the devil's work? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I have repented. I have repented. Please come back, come back. Hey. You are under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Whatever you do or say will be held against you in the court of law.